Hi everyone, I'm gonna show you another template here to make face mat. The paper I have here, the wide side, it's 8 inches, and the long side here, 11 inches. I'm going to fold this in half. I fold the paper in half, the fold is right on your left. On the top, fold here. You're going to bring in two in in three, four. Down on the fold here, you're going to bring it a quarter of an inch. Make it so much easier. To a quarter of an inch here, you're going to connect that to three, four of an inch. Like that, everyone. And now you go on to hold this top here. And this line right here, you go on to fold it together. Make sure the two joists here. And then you just pinch right in the middle, just like that. You go on to bring it down a quarter of an inch right there. Now you go on to draw the line there. Just like that. Make sure this right here don't curl. Just go straight from here and then just curl up a, a little bit right there. From that top here when the fold coming down, you're going to bring two and a half inch. So two inch and 2.5 inches is right there. Same thing to the other side where the two Two and a half, two and a half inch, whatever you call it. That the fold right here, I like you to bring it in half an inch. From the half an inch right here, I like you to connect with three, four of an inch on the top there. The templates I go on to make it easy for you, it going to be in my description. That is one. You go on to connect the two and a half inch to the two and a half inch. Just draw the straight line right like that, everybody. So from the two and a half inch, you go on to bring it down two and a half inch. On the side here, two and a half inch. Another two and a half inch on the other side. On this side, also two and a half inch. From the two and a half inch on the on the two cut right on the side here, you go on to bring it in one inch and a quarter. One inch and a quarter right here. You draw the line like that. And then on the bottom here. I like you to bring it in and in in a quarter, same thing. Just like that. Very simple. You're going to connect the two and a half in to one in in a quarter. You're gonna like this face map, I guarantee you. From one in in the a quarter, you're going to connect that to this one in the, uh, one in in a quarter earlier. So going to connect that. Now you have a ten place, everybody. Let's cut this out. Let me cut this. This is from the full. Cut this out. I just came back from Walmart. I got the um, I went to the Walmart to get into facing. So we're going to use all that little piece of the fabric that we have around here. I'm going to make the handbag. Super awesome. You're gonna like it. But um, I'm waiting for some supply. 
when the supply come, I'm going to uh, show you how to make the hand bath. Very, very pretty. So you curl in this side here to here. You go straight. Don't curl. So that. Now you have a template, everyone. You go in to find the fabric. And you're going to cut three of these. I'm going to make three layers. So this is a 3D so we don't make a, a filter pocket. I'm going to cut three of these. You can you can cut the front and the back with the same color and the middle one you can use different color. Whatever you feel like making. So everyone, there is three of them. There's two front and back and the middle layer. And also I have here five inch long and then one inch wide. This is for the no bridge pocket. I'm going to fold the two ends in. You can fold a quarter up an inch. And then you're going to fold it in half so you know this is the middle line right there. So in the middle layer right here. The, the third, the, the, the one that stay in the middle to make it third, uh, three layer. On the side here, I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut about three, four of an inch all the way. On the ear side, just to make it shorter than the main fabric. Like that. And throw that away. So now you're going to bring this main fabric in just like this. One of the side only. The side just leave it there. Bring this side in. The middle layer right here. Place it on top of this. Everything lie up nicely. When you see everything lie up like this, all you need to do, let me just move into this side. So after you place the third layer in here, I just want to turn into the right side so I can show you more. So you go on this one right here, you go on to fold it in and you go on to sew this line in on one side, sew it together. When you're done sewing this, you go on to this side and you sew on this line in. Like this on the top here, together, everybody. And on the bottom here, these two lines right here, you go on to sew it together too. Fold it here. And then you sew this together. This the V on the bottom where the jean side you're going to sew that in. So sew this this one to here, this one to here, and this one to here. So just like that. Sew it in and sew it in. Sew this in. Same thing to this one. This one is single, so you don't need to do anything. You can just fold it like this. And then you sew it together on the bottom here. You're going to fold on one side here. Sew this straight line. When you're done, go on to this side. Sew on this straight line in. And that's it. Very simple. And I'm going to show you to put the mask on. Super easy and it's very roomy. I'm guarantee you, you're going to like it. Trust me. Make sure. You get all the, the, the two fabric here lie up with the other two right there. If you want, you can get the clip to make it easy for you. Get the clip and clip it down. And from, from here, you're going to sew it over. Very easy. So go ahead and do what I do and right now I go all the way and then flip into the other side do the same thing. Everyone I finished sewing this line right here. So you sew the top the, the top line where the nose bridge area and then the chin side here and same thing to this one. So after that you can just um, get the iron and it just iron this line out everyone. Now we're going to put the mask together. I'm guarantee everyone that in my YouTube family here going to love this face mask. Super comfortable. So after you're done, you're going to take one, one uh, the one with the third layer here. So you're going to fold this two ends of the ear side together. And then on the nose, 
area the no bridge area right there you want to press so i know that's right in the middle right here remember there are two sides this is like a triangle and it's down here it's like this so this is not the no bridge this is the chin side right up here that's the nose area everyone you see that so on this one right here you're going to do the same thing you're going to fold it together press the one in the middle just like that so you know this is the middle of the face mat the over area right there that's the line so bring this back in here you see this line right here the no bridge pocket I'm gonna place right here right in the middle where we fold it and then the second layer of the face mat inside out right in the line that we fold you just make sure you clip that down when you clip that down you're going to go to here too make sure you get them all up here everyone because when you sew and if you don't pay attention you only sew two of them in and it's not cool at all so make sure you light them up nicely especially the fold of the no bridge you're going to make sure it fold for you but when you sew and then when you inside out the face mat if you miss the line my goodness it's not fun at all Especially if you do hand sew and you do back stitch, it was so hard to take them out. On the ear side here, I like you to sew from one of the ear side here. You're going to leave about an inch and a half, well, one inch or so, one inch and a quarter, something like that in the middle. Just leave the middle here, you don't sew. So you're going to sew from here where my, my uh, pen here go all around so everything in on the no bridge all the way all the way to this side right here and then you stop so it's right here that's good enough for you to inside out the face map so everyone i saw the whole thing here look at the face map you go on to love it i'm guarantee everyone here watching this tutorial go on to like this face map everything close but just right here so i can inside out the face map just put your hand in here, go in, move, move all the way, on the other end, wrap this ESI and pull. There's no bridge pocket right here, just pull like that. Go into this side, you're going to do the same thing, you're going to pull on this. Just pull the fabric out because it's stuck behind here, make the face mask smaller if you don't pull it out. Go all around the face mask. For the line here that you left, you can just put your finger in there and you have a good line right here. It, it just lie down for you, just like that, everyone. Now you're going to get the iron and you're going to iron the line down. The no bridge pocket right here, you go on to iron this too. You just want to iron the light out. So in this right here, you, can, you see what you have right here? You go on to fold into the end right here. Right that. Just fold it in half. Get your iron. And iron this down. See, I just tried to finish up quick that I can and now the sun go down. Now you go on to fold one more time. I'm gonna go this way and trying to take this fabric on this side out. Now you go on this side, you go on to bring to fold this in. One more time on the no bridge here. And that's it, you have a no bridge pocket right here. You can get the iron and then you can iron this down. And you go on to sew it in. How simple that, that is everyone and the face mat. On the ear side here you go on to bring it in a quarter up and in. 
you can oops my goodness you can iron this same thing to the other ESI don't worry about the, the the side that you left so you can inside out a face mask don't worry about that because you're going to sew it in anyway I have the pantyhose here that I'm going to show you so when you buy a panty I use all the way here so I'm cutting if you cut in thicker with it if you cut in um, an inch and half it's less stretchy. If you cut in smaller, it stretch more. So, if you cut about an inch, you can cut this in half, and then you can use for for two ESI. And remember, super comfortable, but it's also you have to make sure you don't have the iron near it because it going to melt. You can just leave it like this and then you sew it in and then you can tie it after it make it easier for you. So go ahead and slide the needle underneath the fold here. Hide a knot under the fold. Scoop the fabric on the, the layer, the, the inside of the layer only. You don't want the, the stitch to go to the third layer in the front. I don't want to show the stitch it out in the front. So I'm only scoop this on the, 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 the this layer and the other layer in the in the side in the middle. The, remember the solid blue? You see how I, I sew this way? You're going to do the same exact technique when you sew the other side of the ear and also the no rich pocket the same stitch everyone so at the end here you always make the loop before you come out so make the loop everyone and that's it pantyhose here you're going to make sure you tie the end you're going to move the tie the the knob inside the pocket so you don't have to it to sticking out and so that you're going to do the same thing to the other ESI and I'm going to show you how to start this same thing same exact and how you sew the um, the ear loop pocket so you go on to slide the needle underneath here this is the no red pocket everyone so go ahead and sew like this everyone to the other end of the pocket you close the other end so windy outside the no bridge pocket is already like that if you want to use the foil everyone the foil i have it here you can use the foil to save money you can cut the foil about 8 inches long and then you keep folding like that and then you can just put it in here bang this and that's it you don't need to spend money on it look at the face map I'm going to make another ESI here and we're done. I'm going to put it on and I'll let you see how it look on me. Look how beautiful this face mat is. So beautiful. Look so big. And it cover your chin too. I am guarantee you 110% you're going to love this. Look how beautiful this is. So pretty. Thank you so so much for watching everyone. I will sure put it on and you can see how it look on me. See this face mat everyone? That's so awesome. I recommend everybody in my family here, my YouTube family here to make this. My favorite and my husband's favorite. So I'm gonna put it on. Remember I use um, the uh, bacon foil for the no bridge here. And the pantyhose for the for the loop look how comfortable that is this face mat it cover the whole thing down here 
And look at this. Look at this bait. I love this face mat. I recommend everybody to make this everyone. So beautiful. Easy to read it all the way to the ear side here. This is awesome. Face mat everyone. Please continue to support my channel and also if you like the video, share with your friend, your family and whoever looking for face mat idea. And also if you watch the ad for 30 seconds before you skip that will give me fully support right there everyone. In the future, I will make more other things uh, when this face mask over. I have to finish all my requests everybody. Um, I found a book that I lost with all the, the requests that I have in there. This is one of the requests everyone. The person one is longer down here to cover the neck. And then the the Norbert pocket right here with the with the baking foil. Excellent face mat. Basically, this face mat is good if you have a you know the turkey neck. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you so much for watching.